Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive, where we rank all our favorite nerd movies, starting with the Marvel movies in the MC universe. And if you love Marvel as much as we do, then check out our score sheet, which we have made available to download below. And please rewatch them and rank along with us, because we would greatly love your opinion, especially on this movie, because Ken and I have differed drastically on this movie. So we need input. Yeah, and your score matters to us right now, okay? We're going to get started with our ranking of Thor The Dark World. Our first category is lead male, lead female, likability. In this particular category, I think we differed a little bit. Yeah, we actually gave Jane Foster the same score. So let's start off with what we agreed on. Jane Foster was a lot more likable in this film. It was a two before only because of her job. But in this movie, I actually think her personality really truly earns her this score. And I kind of hate the fact that I gave her that score because she's almost a little bit more cutesy in this one. Maybe it was a little bit hokey but it worked and it worked for jane foster so you know if you got something that works what didn't work was thor i thought he was terrible in this in this movie this was the weakest thor ever i gave thor a zero <laughs> i on the other hand gave him a score of four which is i'd like this guy in my inner circle of friends what is there to like about thor there's nothing to like about thor in this movie he's just annoying i thought he had honor i thought that he was uh Yes, he's dealing with this fact that, like, he's left his heart on Earth because Jane Foster's on Earth, and that's where he wants to be. And he You want your friends to be mopey. That's what you're basically saying. That's not what I'm saying. Um, he wants to do the right thing. So he's come back to Asgard, and he's there to bring peace to the Nine Realms and to take over when, when Odin passes the throne to him. But it's all things he's doing out of duty and honor and not because it's what he really wants. He's, he's grunting at everything. Just, just, ah, ah, he grunts at Loki when, he, when they're going away. You don't know that you love your mama. It's like, okay, we get it. You can be, you can be a hothead and you're angry. I thought that uh, it was really pushed with Thor. But I also found it admirable that all the power of being the king of the Norse gods and all, that's not what matters to him. What matters to him is the woman he loves. Just plain old Jane down on earth, that's what matters to him. And he mopes around, Lady Sif's right there, and you know she's super badass. And, and for just... that, he's an idiot. Because yeah. Lady Sif is way cooler than Jane Foster. You want your friends to be dumb and mopey, all right? That's why we don't hang out with your friends. No, <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to lead male, lead female, bangability. Uh, I gave Thor a zero in this one, but I gave Jane Foster a one. She went up in this one. I thought that, you know, a couple of drinks and me and Jane Foster could have a good time. What woman wouldn't want to hear that? That's fantastic. Right. Uh, so I gave Jane Foster a score of zero. It's nothing personal. It's just, you know, she's a woman. I gave Thor a score of four. Before he was just a hot body, but I do think that now he is dealing with some real issues. Well, you fell for the tortured artist routine with Thor. I can't believe you fell for that. Which isn't original. I mean, they do it in everything. Like, it's even in freaking Twilight with like, oh, the tortured vampire boy. Exactly! And he's the tortured Norse god. I would fell rather for the it. tortured Norse god than the tortured vampire boy. Let's just get that out there. I can't believe it. I would have been fine with it too. It's not that you slept with Thor. It's the fact that... I you wanted to that... sleep with him multiple times. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That you, that, that you, that you thought you earned a score of four. I can't believe it. And so next up is lead male and lead female relatability. So for this one, I gave Thor a score of zero. Um, Finally, I another one that we connect on. So Thor was not relatable. He's a Norse god. Yes. Jane Foster, I give a score of one. I said that, you know, yeah, there are some people like that I, I, I probably met. I wouldn't necessarily call them friends and family, but, you know, I've crossed paths with them. No, I mean, I don't want to debate you on this one because I don't want to think Thor deserves any higher score than you've already given it. But I gave Jane Foster a score of two. I think pretty much everyone has a Jane Foster in their group of friends. So next up is the villain. And the villain in this one is Malekith. Uh, he's a dark elf. And his end goal is to, to... Bring darkness to the entire universe. Let me just say that again. His end goal is to bring darkness to the entire universe. So who do you think that would affect? How many people do you think that would affect? I gave him a score of four. You, you can't give it a four. It's a five. There's no debate about that. It's a five because it says he wants to put the entire universe in darkness. That's the entire universe. It says it on the sheet. Literally says it there. I gave it a four. Why don't we, why don't we, why don't we even have this? <laughs> How strong is the villain compared to the hero? I gave him a score of three. 
I said he's stronger than the hero. This got a four. He's significantly stronger than the hero. Do you care about the villain? And this, I think, is a major Achilles heel for this film. I gave him a zero. I said I didn't care about him at all. You at least gave him a one. I gave him a one because I said the only reason I care about him is I want our hero to win. Villain bang ability. Another one we can agree on, so let's, it's a zero. Let's move on, right? Yep. Okay. Next up is side characters. So hold on to your butts, because there are a lot of side characters. Curse. We have Odin. We have Frigga. We have Loki. We have Lady Sif and the Warriors 3. We have Ian, we, the intern. We have Darcy. We have Selvig. And we have Heimdall. Good job. You got Nine. them all. Yep. Didn't even look at the sheet. You didn't? I was watching, though. I gave eight of these characters a one. I thought they were just there for the plot. Uh, and I gave Loki a four. I gave... Odin, The Curse, and Selvig a score of one, which is they're just there for the plot. Then I gave Lady Sif and the Warriors three, Ian the Intern, Heimdall, and Frigga a score of two. They make the hero more likable, redeemable, and relatable, and I think this works both for Thor and for uh, Jane Foster. Ian the Intern? How does he make anybody more likable or relatable? Like, that I don't get at all. In a weird way, Ian the Intern makes things less polished which makes it a little bit more real for me. I can't believe you gave him a two. I was even going to give him a zero. I was not even going to have him on the side character sheet until he grabbed the, the car and slammed it on some of those dark elves and that saved Darcy's life. I was like, okay, well, without that, you know, Darcy's dead. And then... So I don't get the dog and the Hulk, but I can get Ian the intern. And yeah. I have him now, so we're sticking with it. Yeah, you get Ian the intern, but you gave him too high of a score. My other beef is Lady Sif and the Warriors 3. Yes. One... We hate Thor more because he's not going to be with Lady Sif. Yes, you hate him for not loving her back. Yes, he's a freaking moron because she's way cooler than Jane Foster. I mean, come on. Yeah. But it's the thing of seeing how much she respects him, how much she loves him, how much she wants to be there for him. And even if she knows that he can't love her back, just... She just wants to be there for him. And when you have somebody that amazingly cool and a, mm -hmm. and a woman that badass who's at your side, even if it's unrequited love, it, unfortunately, it boosts the guy up. Not that he deserves it. That was actually a much better explanation than you gave for Ian the Intern. I bought that a lot more than Ian the Intern. Ian the Intern was, was BS. The score of three, there isn't much humor in the film without this character. I gave that to Darcy. I'm sorry, but they tried too hard with Darcy this time. She knocked it out of the park in the first one, and I think because she did so well in the first film that they tried to feature her more in this movie. I agree it was pushed, but I think she still had it. I think she still had it, but I still think that there was enough moments there. If you took her away from the film, the movie would have been significantly less humorous. Well, no, that's, that's Loki, and that's why he gets the MVP. Because really, this movie didn't get good until he showed up. I can't believe you stole my MVP. My MCS. It's MCS, first of all. It's not MVP. It's MCS. Most central side character. And you just you just took it. That's right. Only I can change the rules no. in this. No, no, no. You established the rule change, and I ran with it. On to the plot. For the plot, I gave it a zero. For me, the plot was deliciously unexpected, and it wasn't... It wasn't the good versus evil element, but it was rather how how did the good get to the point of fighting the evil and, and tri triumphing over evil. And the Frigga I... fighting for Jane Foster, the Thor having to team up with Loki and bust him out of jail and commit treason to go I think, and... again, this shows a big difference in our, in our thinking. I think I'm more of a big picture type of person. I like to think of, like, the big picture of, of things, and I think you tend to focus more on, you know, the, 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 the smaller details of life, you know? And, uh, you know, like... I'll, I'll look at our relationship and say, oh, we are so in love and everything's amazing. We're just like, yeah, but you can take me out more and you can <laughs> give me more really? kisses. What if I said that to you? Never. I think about it, though. I should take you out more. And he, he should. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't crack the whip like he just depicted no, me you doing. You don't. Moving on to female empowerment. Mm. What role do women play in this film? Uh, we switched on this one, actually. This... I gave it a two because I said that there are some moments where a girl kicks ass. I gave it a score of three, which was without a strong move from a woman, victory would not have happened. I think what these ladies do, both Lady Sif and Frigga, and you could even make an argument for Jane Foster using her science and her technology, although she annoys me, so I don't really count her, but mm -hmm. that's probably not fair. The women put the pieces in play, even if the final credit goes to Thor, which... Typical. Final credit goes to the guy. 
Soundtrack, soundtrack, got a zero for both of us. Yeah. We agreed. Yeah, we agreed. Woo! The only thing we agree on. Humor. For the most part, we're in agreement. I gave it a 20. 25. Next up is visual effects, and I gave visual effects a score of three. I said that this was a definitely a big screen worthy film. Visual effects got a one from me. I said nothing stood out as good or bad, but really something stood out as good, something stood out as bad. Love story. Zero. Didn't buy it one bit. I did buy their moments apart where they were longing for each other. And so for that reason, it gave a score of one. I like um, how the, the best part of the love story that you could say is when they're apart from each other. It's like... <laughs> I really bought that these actors were both in a long distance relationship thinking of someone else. I think love exists better when two people are together <laughs> instead of when they're apart. Dialogue. Dialogue got a one. I gave dialogue a two. And again, I think this is entirely because of Loki. I'm not even thinking about the words as much. I'm thinking about Loki's facial expression, like when he goes in front of Thor. Well, we don't have a category for facial expressions. I'm sorry. This is dialogue. <laughs> Just admit it's a one. Drop your score down one no, point. Drop I'm it down one point. It's a two. Action sequences. There are five main action sequences mm -hmm. in this movie. And I said they were a score of three, which was I couldn't believe what I was seeing in a good way. Uh, I gave action sequences a two. I thought there was one or two uh, good scenes in there. Finally, we have heart. Yes. I gave heart a one. I said it had a sweet moment or two. Um... That's the best score to give this movie. Uh, you know, maybe you could get a two, maybe. Maybe a three if you, if you teared up for Friga, okay. But I don't see how anybody could give this possibly a four. But I did. I said that it warms the heart and it waters the eyes. And it is in large part because of Friga and uh, Loki. Which, okay, you know Loki lives. I know. So you get teared up for Loki, but you didn't get teared up for Pepper Potts. And when you see Tony Stark's face... And he's, you know, he thinks that the love of his life died. You're like, ah, oh, whatever. I knew that she was alive, so it didn't matter. But Loki, like, turning blue and turning ash and, like, that cheesy song going on, like, that moved you? I like Loki better than Pepper Potts. Okay, so on to our final scores. We had a little scoring snafu that we had to fix, so we had to reshoot this little ending for you. Um, my score for Thor The Dark World was a 61. And my score actually was a 93. So it got minus 10 points. It got minus 5 for failures to engage the audience because it takes a while for us to get invested in Thor's journey. There were moments of this film that did drag. Um, I don't know what they could have done differently about him to tighten it up, but something should have been done. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I got minus 5 points as well for, uh, for boredom. So minus 10 points overall, which drops my score down to 51. And my score drops down to an 83. Which gives Thor a total score of 67. If you disagree, then go ahead and go to our description section of this video and fill out a score sheet for yourself. You can do it online or you can print it off if you want to. Because your score actually matters in the final yeah. rankings. So go ahead and post your scores down in the comments below. Go ahead and like us, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. Our score for Thor The Dark World was a 67. But that is definitely not definitive.